Hey guys. Look at look at how dark this carpet is. This is like always gets so dirty. You see me scrubbing all the time. Thought I would try this thing. I saw it on YouTube. Resolve easy clean. It makes the rest of your so-called clean carpet look dirty because it cleans it so much. So let's see. Put it together like a Swiffer, I guess. It's like building a tent. All you do is you just shake this vigorously. You just spray. Oh, there it is. Okay, now that it's dry here, I let it dry for like 20 minutes. Just vacuum it up now. And look at it. I think it did a decent job. And on top of that, I'm not aching sore after doing it. Okay, I'm nursing my aquarium back to full health here, so I'm gonna feed it some mysis shrimp that I just defrosted. I'm gonna use the turkey baster here. Well, I usually squirt a little bit out to feed the fish so they don't try to grab all the food from everywhere else. And I feed the coral pieces. There you go, eat my babies. The bubble coral looks like it's doing relatively well. This one in the back, my gold torch coral, which hasn't been gold in months. At least it grabbed the food. And this one in the back is pretty much just died off. Hopefully everything's okay, because I checked the water, checked the temperature, everything's good. I don't know what's wrong. I'm gonna try this breakfast burrito for a snack. Looks pretty good. Eggs, cheese, and Canadian bacon. It says it's simply delicious. We'll see about that. I only got tortilla. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's a microwave burrito. I don't know what I expected. It was the best microwave burrito I've ever had, but that's not saying anything. I'm still hungry. Yeah. I always eat these in like twos. <laughs> That's a good size. Okay, I'm gonna make a green smoothie because I haven't made one in a while. I always feel a lot better after I drink one too. So here it is. Here's the stuff that I got all from Trader Joe's. We're gonna use our Vitamix. And so let's add all of the ingredients together. Okay, two handfuls of kale, one handful of spinach. I'm gonna add another handful of kale, but later on. I like to add about like two cups of strawberries here, a banana. I like to put two tablespoons of this chia seeds, which is super high in protein and awesome stuff. Ginger. Raw cashews. A whole large lemon here. Some plain Greek yogurt here. Again, Greek yogurt is high in protein, along with everything else. Chia seeds is high in protein. Kale has high protein. Cashews have high protein. Four scoops. Okay, the third handful of kale. Maybe I'll add another handful of spinach. A cup and a half of apple juice. This adds a lot of sweetening. Some water, so it doesn't taste so syrupy. Okay, now ice cubes, because as I said before, using a Vitamix causes lots of heat. Usually you do like six. Bam, there we go. Turn it on. And this is how I do my green smoothie. Yeah, here's a cup for me. It's good, it tastes good. It tastes like a strawberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, headed off to the gym, see you there. After workout cookie time. Well, I was looking back on many vlogs ago. I haven't done the whistling game in so long. Oh, I thought I would bring that back. And I always think that people know what I'm whistling about, but apparently not. <laughs> I'm going to number the songs and whistle a small portion of it. And in the comments below, write down the number and what song you think it is. For example, if you only know like number three, then you just write number three is my humps or something like that. So let's begin. Number one.
number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. And then finally, number seven. So, how many of those can you get? Put in the comments below, I wonder who can get all seven songs. I don't think ever before in any of these games has anyone been able to guess all of them. So, maybe you can be the first one. I made them incredibly easy this time, so I'm sure someone will be able to do it pretty quickly. For dinner today, I'm having this totally Mediterranean style chicken and rigatoni. I like these because they taste really good. It's just frozen stuff inside. Maybe just add it. Cover the pan. Okay. Mm. And here's my dinner. Yeah. What's up? I'm off to watch Pacific Rim with my friends from college. You've seen them before. George and Pete. It's so crowded, there's only six seats left for the, the 1030 showing in IMAX. Crazy. Just finished watching it. It was okay. There's, there's my friends right there. George is saying he has a spot, soft spot for for um, giant robots, and I was like, I have a soft spot for for disgusting monsters. Those are all the people who watched it. What did you think? I thought it was just okay. What did you think? Was, I mean, giant robots fighting monsters. I wasn't really looking for the. <laughs> I was like, it reminded me of like like Power Rangers, but a lot louder. It was like it was like this like the whole time. I actually really like Guillermo del Toro movies like Pan's Labyrinth, um, Hellboy, and I love monster destruction movies. Any of those movies where, I, as I mentioned, people are getting chased or they're in peril from monsters. I love disgusting monsters especially. I was just like, yeah! The problem that I had with the movie though was that the whole movie was filmed in close-ups the whole time like this. And so it was very hard to tell what was happening, especially watching in an IMAX 3D screen. It was just like, what's going on? I can't even tell. And even with the shots with the people, it was always like this, the whole movie. I was like, it felt like I was watching the movie through a magnifying glass or something. But I felt like the characters were so poorly developed. Okay, well the main character is so poorly developed. Yeah, I didn't really care for the characters at all, which I realized near the end of the movie when of course they're in peril and I'm just like, eh, whatever. Those monsters, they were awesome. Fortunately, the movie was a kind of a big letdown for me because I was really excited to watch this movie. I was just waiting for them to go, it's morphing time because they're like in the robots controlling the punches and stuff just like Power Rangers. My final review for Pacific Rim out of four stars would be two and a half. Okay guys, I'm headed to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Monterey Jack, natural cheese. Yeah. Goodbye, friend. Okay, Pepper Jack. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with Pepper Jack. I like it. I know. Yes. Produce looks pretty good today. There's no sriracha at Safeway. That's sad. I'm going to call us out and be like,